Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray. Today we're going to be covering how to create a headphone mix in Logic Pro. This is one of those subjects that everybody wants to know about and yet there's not a lot of info and it certainly is not simplified for the modern creative. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let Robert Rodriguez, the official proofreader of the Pro Tools 2020 manual, take over so he can talk to you about the setup. Robert, take it away. Hey everyone, so in order to get started, we're going to need an audio interface with more than two outputs. So in the case of the Apollo Twin we're using today, we have our monitor outs for our speakers and we're using out three and four for our headphone mix. From the interface, we're going into a headphone app. In this case, we're using the inputs of another small interface. Now this works if your interface has the ability to directly monitor signal coming in. This is usually a mix knob, or in this case, a button. If you're using a second interface as a headphone amp, you just need to set the gain on your interface, start low, make sure you're using direct monitor section on your interface, and plug in your headphone. This should get you where you need to be in the analog side of things, but now let's go in the box. So now you're in Logic, and you're gonna select all the tracks in your mix to group them, and on the sends, route them to a bus of your choice. This creates an aux track in Logic, which we'll call Headphone Mix. Now from our Headphone Mix aux track, we're going to route our output to out three and four, effectively sending that track out to three and four on our interface. Now all you gotta do is adjust the send pots in the send section, and your talent now has their own mix. But let's swing it back over to Eddie for a way to fine tune your headphone mix even more. Thank you, Robert. So at this point, we know that we need one interface, one headphone app. We have routed everything properly. We're in a session, everything's going great. And for some, this may be enough. But for others, perhaps your singer wants you to change something like let's say the reverb on the track or maybe they want more volume on the drums, but you don't wanna make any changes on the mix that you have made thus far. This is where Sands on Faders comes into play. On page 573 of the Logic User Guide, it says here that you may be using Sends to create a headphone mix and want separate pan positions for the headphone mix as for the main mix. Again, you may have a singer, a situation where they want you to increase or decrease the sound of the tambourine, let's say, in a mix. So your headphones will sound like this. And you can also have an independent mix for your singer, guitar player, etc. that sounds like this, no tambourine. All right, so as stated before, we now have all of these tracks being sent to bus one like this they're going to bus one here and their output is three and four as described the singer says something to the effect of hey i would like for you to bring down the drums but you don't want to affect the static mix that you've built perhaps you've put a lot of time into the mix in general and you simply just don't want to affect the level whatsoever this is where sends on faders comes into play so i'm going to go ahead and click and hold here and i will enable sends on faders if you don't see it it's simply because you need to enable it now this is going to look a little bit differently but let me assure you that this is really the same thing as before we're just now greeted with these golden faders so when i hit the icon up here it really is the same as going back to the original mix the only difference now is that we're creating an independent mix for bus one so again let's say they want a little bit less drum set so we'll bring the drums down and i'm hearing what i want to hear and she's hearing what she needs to hear right now it gets a little bit better because we also have the unique opportunity to again click and hold and 
enable independent pan so that I can send them this information, in this case, a base, and I can have it sent over to one side. I can create an independent headphone mix for a drummer, for a guitar player, and then when I turn this off, I can go back to my mix in general. The good part here, my good friends, is you can see that the independent pan is in fact very much illustrated by this yellow pan send knob here. So this is a phenomenal workflow. We just wanted to introduce it to you. We thought this could be a great thing. If you have any questions for us, just hit us up in the comments and we will do our best to give you back some useful information. But again, sends on faders, just a great visual way of utilizing this technology. And just a quick side note, you don't have to use this as an independent headphone mix. This can strictly just be a convenient way of using bus and sends, but really this is the primary purpose here. So if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and give us a like, hit the notification bell so that every single time we come out with this great information, we can go ahead and connect like this. We ask that, that you share the video and most of all, we just thank you for the opportunity to be here with you and to learn here with you. So thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day. We will catch you soon. Cheers.